Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we're going to check out some EDC knives. Starting the list off, we have the Kubi Anteater. Now, this one is the premium version with the titanium frame lock and S35VN. I'm pretty sure they have a titanium frame lock version with a more budget steel, and then they also have a G10 option as well. But it's somewhat of a self-defense knife with a hawk bill blade. But this is going to be a great utility cutter or a, a blade to, to trap materials. Now, if you don't know, carpet cutters and vinyl floor cutters are hawkbill blades because they trap the vinyl or trap the carpet when you're cutting through them. So this is still a very utilitarian blade shape and in many cases would work better than anything else else it helps you trap materials even in a pull cut it's going to trap the material so it doesn't slip up and around the blade you can use it as a utility cutter you can trap when you're cutting and it'll help drag the material into the cut rather than slipping out now this one has an extremely extremely strong detent um like i think this is probably one of the most solid detents in my collection and we've had this for a few years I just oiled it, but it was like probably three times as loud when the, the detent would fall into the hole. It literally pulls it in. You can really feel that, uh, that tension from the detent. Flipping action, then you know you have a frame lock. The access to the lock bar, it's decent. It's very smooth on ceramic cage bearings. The flipper tab is not the most comfortable, but since it does hook up a little bit, it gives you something to kind of hook your finger on and drag down. Now, as far as ergos go, it is a tight fit, but I think it's supposed to be because it's trying to lock you in to the center right here and then you can use this for hitting you know and slashing and it, it just kind of locks you in a little bit so you're not gonna be slipping up or off of the handle but yeah like i said this does come in different options as well next is another somewhat tactical knife this is a bob terzola design and this was the original mass drop but i think caviso is the one that took this over but pretty sure you can still get these now i do recommend if you have one of these because this is somewhat it, it, well the, the the style of it is a tactical blade but it's somewhat of a smaller knife medium sized knife but it has relatively robust geometry so it is a knife that you can actually use somewhat like a multi-tool which is how a lot of tactical knives are you know they want you want to be able to be able to stab into things maybe do some light duty prying but also some good cutting so i actually recommend if you have this, doing what I did, because I can't tell you how much it massively improved this knife, and that is throwing a large edge bevel on one side, so a low angle, this is about 15 degrees, then a high angle on the other side, this is about 22.5 degrees. So you can see how much bigger the bevel is on one side. Now, some people might not like the way that looks, I personally like it, but it, this the, the edge retention went up with this, specifically with the S35VN, but it also made it to where this thing passes through materials probably four to five times better than it originally did. Now, I've tried this, th this method on other steels like M390 and it didn't do as well, but I feel that for, with S35VN, I think that it could possibly be really, really good. As far as this one goes, it, it's been... Uh, it's massively improved it now you have the flipping action and then you have the titanium disc this is a titanium liner lock by the way we have a titanium clip titanium um, liners and then a g10 backspacer with a titanium thumb disc which is pretty easy to use Good detent, solid flipping action, good access to the lock bar, very smooth on the ceramic cage bearings. And I love this style, you know, the spear point blade with the neutral handles. You're going to be able to use it in every grip. And yeah, absolutely awesome. Next is the Kubi Raven. Now, whew, this one is so smooth. So this, I... I 
you know, I'm not saying it actually is a tactical knife, but I, I just have the feeling that every time I carry it, every time I'm using it, that it's somewhat of a tactical-ish knife. Um, this version, because it does come in multiple different versions, um, this one is the Aus 10 version, G10 scales, and it is a steel liner lock. The detent and action is perfect. Fantastic action. And it has a titanium clip, and a hidden lanyard pin back there. The handle doesn't look comfortable, but when you put it in your hand, boy is it. It is very, very comfortable. And you can use it in different grips. Um, even if you were gonna turn it around and use it to cut straps, it still works good. So fast deployment. Um, and like I said, the, the blade and the handle just kind of reminds me a little bit of a more tactical knife. It's going to be good at utility cutting, slicing, all the good stuff. And, you know, it's just a good EDC knife all the way around. And, you know, it has a good look to it, too. Let's get to the next one. Now, the next one is... The Zen by Kunwu, the Kunwu Zen. This one is in Almax, and it has a titanium frame lock with a Timascus pivot collar. Pivot collar gives it a little, gives it a little pop of color, and it has a titanium backspacer and milled pocket clip. We have multiple forms of deployment. We have the flipper tab. You have the top flipper or front flipper. And then you have the reverse flick and thumb flick. So. Lots of deployment options with this one. Um, fairly comfortable in the hand. It's actually pretty comfortable. Plus, you can always choke up and take advantage of the flipper tab, which is nice and comfortable under your finger. LMAX Steel. I love LMAX Steel. Um, it's very similar to M390 as far as edge retention, toughness, corrosion resistance. So, very corrosion resistant. Um, it is a high wear resistant steel. And, yeah, it, it, it's a great steel. I love LMAX. And... The jimping on this one, it does have a crowned spine, which a crowned spine always, you know, just feels like you're getting a little extra out of the knife when they crown the spine. Good access to the lock bar, or at least it's not bad. It's easy to pass the detent. It's very fidgety. And this blade shape being a sheep's foot style blade shape, it's going to be amazing for EDC. And also, really quick, before we get to the next knife, it has an orange peeled finish on the face. Now, the edges are blasted, but this orange peeled finish is going to protect it, and it's going to, to hide a lot of wear that you might receive if you were a little bit tougher on this knife. Next is a knife I haven't shown in a little while. This is the Spyderco Brower. Now, this you could say that this is, a, you know, quite a bit expensive for how for the knife it is but this is a titanium frame lock so from Spyderco which if you guys don't know Spyderco does some of the best heat treating out of production companies period I mean their steels outperform every other companies that I can think of that's that's production at least you know damn near all of them if not all of them there's maybe a couple companies that can stand close to them with a few steels but not as many steels as they're using their s30v is going to outperform almost every company's s30v now this is a, a titanium frame lock like i said but it does give you a nice big steel lock bar insert as you can see nice strong lock up and the blade shape is you know it's somewhat of a drop point blade that's going to be super versatile. You're going to be able to slice with it, utility cuts. You could turn it around and do a comfortable, you know, rope cut if you need to. Um, it does allow you to choke up really nicely and get a full, you know, spread out four finger grip, which that's kind of the beauty of this thing. It's a small knife, compact EDC knife that allows you to get a nice comfortable grip. You could good access to the lock bar. Very easy to drop. It is on foster bronze washers and it is very smooth and yeah it's just a solid solid titanium frame lock knife now i do kind of wish that there were some aftermarket scales for this i don't know if there is or at least i haven't seen any but if i did find some i totally would get some uh because i would love this to be either you know i would just love it to be something else besides g10 but Either way, love the knife, and yeah, I, I think it's worth the money, um, especially with that heat treat. But, you know, a lot of people are not going to want to spend $180 on a titanium frame lock. But, you know, considering what a lot of other titanium frame locks are, that's not a bad price. Next is... 
the QSP Hedgehog. Now, this is a slip joint knife with a deep hollow ground blade. Speaking of deep hollow grinds, we got another one here right after this one. But this has a nice razor style blade shape. Almost like a, a straight razor blade shape. And it has a good or a quality micarta handle with steel liners. The spring is not super strong, but it's, you know, plenty strong. Nice walk and talk. And the, the blade sits out of the handle um, so much that it is very easy to pull out. I can get a full four finger grip. This is going to be a great one for those of you that cannot carry a locking knife. This is a great choice. This is going to be a great slicer, great utility cutter. You're going to be able to cut straps. And because of this nice thin, thin geometry, boy, is this going to pass through materials really well. And it's 14C28N, which does really good with thin geometry. So yeah, this is a, a really, really cool one. And like I said, I, I love how much blade hangs out of the handle. So it's super easy to open and close. Now this next one, there are still some available. I will link them down in the description, but they are going to sell out and they will sell out soon. This is the Jack Wolf Knives Low Drag Jack with this beautiful, beautiful spear point hollow ground blade, full hollow, stupid thin behind the edge. Some of the best geometry you'll see on a knife. I love the handle shape, very neutral. It's going to be extremely comfortable in every single grip you could you could ever want. Um, nice, strong back spring. It is a slip joint. And this blade shape is going to kind of trap materials because it is a it, it goes from narrow to big belly. This little spot right here is going to help trap materials when you're slicing. Utility cuts are going to be amazing. If you need to cut a strap, it's also going to trap it. I love when a knife can do that. It makes for ease of use and just a fantastic work knife. The walk and talk is really nice on these. And they come in many different options. This one is the green fat carbon version. But there are different options. Now, I don't know exactly what's going to be available. When you're watching this, uh, they do have micarta options and different kinds of fat carbon fiber. It is a titanium, um, titanium faux bolster knife or slip joint. So a, a premium quality traditional knife in S90V. This is the first time they're using S90V. S90V is a very high wear resistant steel that's also still a stainless. So it's going to be a great steel for something like this. You're going to get the stainlessness, plus you're going to have a steel that holds an edge for a very, very long time. And it's a steel that takes a really, really good medium grit edge. So, but I love what Jack Wolf is doing. You know, these modern traditionals, man, they just... They're really awesome. The, the fit, the finish, everything about them is just done to the highest level. And I love that about them. You know, I, I don't, I like traditionals, but I love traditionals even more when they're in quality materials and they are done in modern materials. So yeah, there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.